Well, then how much do you like the first Michael Squarepants movie when it doesn't when in, most the main, when most of the main characters are just yeah you know, are just uh, not really there for the, for the most part. Um, you know, it would have been nice to have more of the main characters. I did like some of the characters they brought in, like the um, the king guy is kind of funny. He has the bald head. Like, oh yeah, I know that. That's all there. Really. The guy, he's not the guy. He normally goes my leg. And oh he says, yeah. Fold, fold, my leg. No, he says my eyes. That's what it is. That see, that was that was the one that I love that because. Do they still do that in the new episodes where the guy goes, my leg? Yeah, there's actually an entire episode about it. It's titled, My Leg. Well, this man's leg has to be completely destroyed by now. He must have robotic legs. How does he keep breaking his legs so much? I don't know. <laughs> when is he going to get this leg fixed? Does he have health care? We need to know the answer to the questions. Well, well, that, well, that's why you should, well, that's why you should watch My Leg and and make a video where you tell the, where you tell your YouTube channel how much you like that episode, how funny how funny it was when SpongeBob SquarePants made an entire episode about around that running gag of entire of my, my leg, leg confident, compilation entire that'd be good. Yeah, my, you my, need to review that. My little brothers have a YouTube channel. I think they do a lot of stuff like that. I thought you up to them too. What's it called? It is called. It is, I have to ask, I'll have to ask them. It's called something memes, but they have they have, they did have they did have one video they got seven hundred thousand views that used some of our content. So they're up there. They're monetized now. It's um, I have to get the exact name of the channel once I get my phone back and I give them a call. But by next class, I'll have it for you. I'll, I'll let you okay, know what it is. Maniac memes. It's called maniac oh, memes. Oh, thanks for remembering that. Yeah, it's a uh, they get. They got struck and down though because they put COVID in the title really early on, and we put COVID in the title. Ooh, they slammed them for it, but they're they're still monetized though. Why you well, but why you well, why but why you love the first SpongeBob SquarePants movie so much when it doesn't when it doesn't have a big part for most of the main characters we know from the series who are, who are just who just have a couple of cameos in it. Um, I like that it was a little bit different that they actually had Plankton like almost like take over. Oh yeah, that was very cool. Because normally Plankton doesn't really do get even close. I mean, there was the one time where he almost steals the formula, it's a big formula, and then he has a moment where he comes oh, yeah, Plankton, off oh, yeah, well, I like they, Plankton's army, that was interesting. Yeah, <laughs> they finds out that Plankton is 50%. No, no, what is he? 1% 99%, 1%, 1 evil 99% hot gas? gas? Yeah, that was in his first episode. I love that one. <laughs> that is I did too. Uh, see weed, 50% see, 50% oh, yeah. weed. Oh yeah, that was hilarious. Uh, <laughs> Speaking of weed, uh, you know, there's a, there is a lot, there's, there's a lot of it in SpongeBob. There, there's a lot of it in SpongeBob of water. Is there really? What is in these things? Oh in my these goodness! Bags, they uh, really do that, Bill. But I need to watch that, man. That's yeah. great. Now I'm a SpongeBob. Now the first few seasons, out of the whole Chris Crab Pizza song, had reiteration of Chris Crab Pizza song. This Chris Crab Pizza is the pizza for you and me. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> We all know. Here we go now. <laughs> and what it taught me was mo moss always Here points. Here we go now. This is, I was thinking the trivia is talking sponge out of water. Spon you know that moss always points towards civilization. Oh yeah. <laughs> Benny. Well, what I really like the most about sponge out of water is that it doesn't have sponge out of water avoids ha repeating the same road trip formula as the first and third SpongeBob movies and other animated movies where the main characters are on a road trip or are just on a big adventure outside of their familiar home. That's true. Which happens a lot in, in, in animated movies with the cast of, of an animated television series. That's true. Those happen usually a lot. You think of almost all of them, like the uh, well, this first one drop, they're just, they have a little song about that. We're off to get the current, like to get the current one to save the town. I oh, changed my underwear. That's what it was. <laughs> Um, it's so, just salad on their face. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think you might enjoy Sponge Out of Water because it's a movie that because it's a movie that actually it's a movie that tells a much more impressive uh, story. story. Yeah, it tells a much more impressive story out of unique concepts that that you may have seen in SpongeBob SquarePants before this point because it has a longer story to make better use out of them, to really fully embrace the concepts of the main characters traveling through time, traveling out of water, and becoming superheroes. Future. Yes, Benny, I am very sure. What I like the most about Sponge Out of Water as a movie is that it does more with unique concepts from the pre-movie episodes Fun, Pressure, and Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy V. 
The main SpongeBob characters make a better team of superheroes than in Mermaid Man and Marco Boy V because this time their superpowers do not inadvertently harm one another. They have a better and longer out of water experience than pressure because it is a grander adventure with more at stake for them and their home. And most importantly, SpongeBob and Plankton's team up in Sponge Out of Water turns out a lot better than it did in Fun because when Sheldon Plankton had another chance to pull an evil banana trick on SpongeBob again and and proclaim that being evil is fun. He didn't this time. I mean, he could have double crossed SpongeBob and Mr. Krabs when he was the first of the superheroes to retrieve the secret formula from Burger Beard, but luckily SpongeBob SquarePants message about teamwork and uh, you know putting your differences aside for a mutual cause stuck with Plankton, so he decided to do the right thing by giving the secret formula back to Mr. Krabs and SpongeBob instead of taking it all for himself. That's not the midnight demon's appearance. Man. That was an Alien First movie. Yeah, he really saved the day on that one, though, didn't he? Yes, he did. Uh, but yeah, that's that. Man, I think that's that's a pretty good one. We're gonna have to check in with you. You know what? We'll have to do this again next week when we're back in class. And I've seen this movie, and we'll discuss okay. the points further. Because we're gonna talk about it. Because I'm gonna watch that movie. Sounds my, good to me. My girlfriend's gonna watch it. Too. She loves SpongeBob. You know, that's I think. Great. You know, I'd like to make YMA films like Sponge Out of Water, like not just where the main characters of, an, of a series stay in their main, have a, could have a, a bigger, deeper, more impressive story that stays in their main setting most of the time, but also just like animated films with my own original sort of characters have, you know, tell interesting stories about the main characters who don't have to who don't have to go on a big adventure out of their own home to make a, mo to make a, a movie worthy of the big screen. Do you have Flash? What? Do you use flash animation? No, I don't animate yet. My cousin does it. I can get him on it. I'll ask him to do it. He knows oh, a lot you. about it. Yeah, he's actually a... Uh, I actually have to run down. I have a meeting with someone down there. Hey. But, um, hey man. Hey buddy. Good yeah. talking with you. Until next week. Yeah, Alright. Yeah. Hey, you know what? Well, there's one thing I'll tell you. I really think, you know, animation... You know, the, the best animated features, live action or animated, deserve deserve more recognition. As much animation as a live action should be featured the same quality. Because, I mean, because... Uh, the first and second Spongebob movies were the six highest grossing films of their year, which is, so they're on the same level of annual box office success as Back to the Future Part 3. And I'm sure Thomas F. Wilson will be super proud of that because he's, he's been an actor in all three of those films. He played Biff Tannen, Buford Tannen in Back to the Future Part 3, uh, Victor in the Spongebob Squarepants movie, and Angry Customer Number 1 in Sponge Out of Water. Really? And there's a the screenplay. It's still a screenplay. Yeah. So, I mean, there's a written Oscar just like everything else, I think, you know? I think the problem is that it's hard to know who, it's harder to know who voice actors are than who live actors are. Yeah, I think they don't take them as seriously because they think, think it's a kid show. And I'm like, man, I'll be watching that till I'm 60 years old. Well, I love the show. That's why, well, that's, well, that's why you should consider good animated shows or films for adults, like the Simpsons movie and the Bob's Burgers movie, for starters. Have you seen uh, Beavis and Butthead? No, Do but I always wanted to. It's a good. I think I'm sure it's a good, funny show. It's, it's our kids who are famous who are laughing, who are laughing at juvenile inappropriate <laughs> words. <laughs> My mom calls me Beavis whenever, uh, whenever I laugh at inappropriate juvenile him. words. I, the great I Mark like that. <laughs> so, anything you want to tell the audience about Sponge Out of Water? Sponge Out of Water. I haven't seen it yet. My boy tells me it's a good one to watch. I'm gonna tell you guys about it next week. In the meantime, check out my voice channel. Let's check yeah. out. Adam Calver, Adam Phoebe Calvoon Troy, and what about um, what meme? What was the name of the channel that your cousin had? Uh, Maniac Memes. Oh yeah, my little brother. Yeah, don't forget to check out Maniac Memes. Check that out. Run that up. They got one at four thousand. They're trying to get monetized. I think they're almost monetized. They're trying to get monetized. Yeah. And if you need music, check out my music. SoundCloud, Benny Bundles. If you need any engineering work, or you want to come to the studio, we got a free studio at my house. That's good. Anyone can come record. Anyone, I'm willing to work with you. I. Uh, I know another friend with the YouTube channel you might like to check out, Izzy Gove. She's also supposed to be monetized. I'll check him out. Oh, B BMG Kappa, too. Check out my boy. If you like music and you like hip hop related content, he's, uh, he's monetized. So. Someday soon, I'm, you know, someday soon I'm, I'm going to appear on Izzy Gove's channel and help her make some videos. That's what's about. Bro, I gotta run for the meeting down there. But hey, it's good talking to you. I'll okay. see you next week, alright? Alright. Later, guys. 
Thank you for watching my collaboration with Benny Bundles. If you like his channel or his music, be sure to like and subscribe to him. Or like and subscribe to Izzy Goaf. Because I've asked you to like and subscribe to me enough times already in other videos.